result, we have 8x to the third power plus 27y to the third power. So we see that we have two terms, but there's no common factor. We'll go ahead and put this into the sum of two cubes because we see the third power. So we'll go ahead and say this is something to the third power plus something else to the third power. What's in the first parentheses? Well, what times what times what will be 8? That's 2, right? And then we also have the x. 2x to the third power, that will give us 8x to the third power. And then for the second parentheses right here, well, what times what times what will give us 27? We need to have the 3. And then we also have to have the y. 3y to the third power, 3 to the third power is 27, y to the third power is the y to the third power. And then we are ready to go. This is the sum of two cubes, so we are going to use a formula for this. So, I'm going to show you guys how to factor this out. We will have to first have 2x plus 3y in the first parentheses, so 2x plus 3y. And then, for the second parentheses, we first are going to have this being squared. So I'll write this down right here, 2x, and then I'll square that. And we'll have to work this out. 2 squared is 4, and x squared is just x squared, okay? And then next, the sign is going to be minus, so we have to remember that carefully. And to get this term, what we do is, we do this times that, the A times B situation in the formula. So I'll write this down for you guys. We have to work out 2x times 3y. And as we can see, 2 times 3 is 6. x times y is just xy. And then for the last part, we have plus. And for this right here, we are going to square the 3y. So we'll put down 3y in the parentheses and raise that to a second power. 3 squared is 9. And then y squared is just y squared, like that. So this is how we factor the sum of two cubes. And you see that I didn't write down any formulas right next to it, but then the deal is that we have to remember the formula in order to work this out. So practice these kind of equations and try to do it like this way. Be really careful with the sign right here. If you have the plus, you have the plus, minus, plus, like that. And if the equation was a minus, you see the sign will change. So just be really careful with the sign and also remember the pattern of the formula. That's all.